it's summer. We're all feeling hot and sassy. Ooh. So let's talk about some summer dating trends. Pheromones and hormones. Pheromones. We have our favorite coach, uh, dating coach, Bella Gandhi, here with us to define some new terms. Hey, Bella. Hey. Hi. Hi. So what are some of the new things going on in dating right now? Yeah. There's some new technology, right? So the dating apps are still hot, using video on They're dating still dates. still hot. Still hot. Because I, I know. would think there'd be some fatigue. Well, that. there's always some fatigue, okay. but that doesn't mean it's hot. Not okay. hot, okay. right? Yeah. And so AI is now starting to play a bigger role in dating. There are people that are building their own AI bots to auto swipe, <gasps> to message on their own behalf. What? What does it's that mean? What crazy is that? train. First of all, auto swipe. How lazy can you be if you can't even swipe yourself? They're, I mean. Well, like, I, and they're not actually looking at the person. They're just looking at certain statistics and being like, I'm not interested unless they meet this criteria. Right, like, let me swipe on everybody so that when I wake up, oh. I have vetted matches. Oh. And so I don't even have to use my finger. And so just they're do this. Training AI so to do that. Train AI to wow. do that. And train AI to message. So it's and it's only going to get bigger yeah. as the years go on. And I heard that people are using ChatGPT to write like their profiles, which oh. seems like insane to me. I, people are using well, ChatGPT for everything, including yeah. their online profiles. So it's going to be so interesting to keep track of the intersection of AI and dating over the next one to two years. Yes. There are some new terms, though, and we want to yeah. hit on those and define them. Bella, what's the first one? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Hypergamy. Can you say it with me? Hyper Hyper hypergamy. hypergamy. It's actually an old term, but what it means is singles want to date people that they perceive as better than them, better looking, better oh. sexual capital, more wealthy. What is it's better like sexual capital? I mean, by someone You've hotter. You've been around the block, right? I mean, it could. They have body good count. experience. They can teach that, you a few things. Right. Maybe as that's what it is. As my teenagers call it, body count now. So we okay. won't even have to go. Okay. okay. Body count. Body oh count. Oh my God. I, I understand <laughs> making making like a goal. Like I want to move Date up. Dating up. Dating right. up. Dating Isn't up. that called social climbing? And isn't that looked down upon? I mean, it can be, right? It's like, and if you want to, if you want to be with someone wealthier than you to live a better lifestyle, why don't you go focus on being wealthier? Why don't you focus wealthier. on bettering yourself? That's Rebecca, also called. Okay, what's Rebecca that's syndrome? Riding coattails is what hypergamy is. What's Rebecca syndrome? Rebecca syndrome, also an old term, refers to pathological jealousy of your new partner's exes. So let's say, how does that play out now? Yeah. Social media. And yeah, like, look, I mean, we yeah. all end up yeah. like, oh, what's my boo doing? Why did they like that woman's post? Why did they like so his post? So hole. you're going yeah. down a rabbit hole. And what starts to happen then? We create stories. It's kind of X stalking. OK, what's the next one? Acronyms, ENM and CNM. Ethical non-monogamy, uh, pretty synonymous okay. with consensual non-monogamy, meaning, hey, I'm on this app, but I'm looking to date to, you know, find a relationship that's open. Wow, isn't that just dating? Yeah. But right. no, consensual non-monogamy, well, meaning no I am that. never going to be committed. Okay, well, so okay, I'm telling sense. you, I could act like your girlfriend or your boyfriend, but that's I'm not never gonna, gonna right. date. I'm never gonna date you exclusively. Exactly, right. and there's lots of different rules with couples that are CNM or ENM. Like, who's the primary partner? How does it roll out if we bring someone else into the mix? Well, it makes yeah. sense. You put what you want out front, and then no one's guessing, because otherwise, people cheat on people all the time, and then it's a surprise. And like what I tell all my clients at Smart Dating Academy, if you see an acronym and like, you don't know what it is, Google it first before you respond right. or right. swipe right. Because you what don't want to like go out with a C and FM, BDSM, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> and, right, triple right. M. Yeah. Sure, I right. I don't okay. know. Well, listen, thank you for keeping us in the know and woke, my Thank friend. you. I, we'll be I, back in a moment. I feel so old-fashioned.